welcome back. Today we are playing the Medieval Color Legacy Challenge, and I believe this is our last episode of Light Blue, which is kind of bittersweet. I feel like we just got four, and I built this gorgeous house for her, and well, now it's gonna be gone. I was gonna keep them on this lot, but there has been some issues. I don't know, I kind of want to try to renovate it and just see what happens, and if I have to build them a new one, I, I will. But I'm gonna try, I think. We're gonna try. Effort will be made. So today, Lothair needs to turn into a vampire and be disowned. <laughs> so, I there is a vampire out in the world that I'm hoping he will meet. You'll notice Alcide is gone. He did roll to get married, so he is no longer in the household. I do want to age up Celestine really quick because she is... I mean, she's a toddler and like we just... There's no point in keeping her as a toddler right now. I also did put some thought into what we're gonna do in terms of spouses. Retire. But yeah, you can see we've got a tree on fire. We've got we've got things going on. I might alternatively, because I, I would also like a bigger lot, because that's kind of what we're going for is bigger and better is like screenshot the layout of this build a new lot but imply that it's been upgraded kind of thing I could do that alrighty that's certainly an outfit but yeah I have decided I'm gonna have we'll throw like a small party and we'll have Clotilde meet all of the eligible bachelors in terms of the knights, we're just going to pretend those are their sons at this point because like I don't want to create a bunch of new characters when I've got perfectly eligible people. We'll pretend those are their sons. It's fine. We don't have to make it weird. Oh gosh. This, this is what we're going to do? This is, this is what we're going to do. Okay. 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 Cool. Love that. Love that. Not angry about it at all. Nope. Not bitter. Um, Celestine, she does have kind of curly hair, so let's just give her kind of straight. Okay, so he is just having a time. And you know what? I would like to support you having a time, Drake. You've done well as a spouse. We're proud of you. We're, we're proud. We're proud of so Sims 4 is currently broken in terms of screenshotting, so now I have, like, my brain keeps pressing C because that's what I have to do to screenshot in The Sims 4 right now, but that's not how I screenshot in anything else, so it's just... <sighs> it's, I'm having a time. I'm having a time. Having a time! Okay, you are not gonna make your bet. That's... no. But yeah, because what is she like? Brunettes who dance. I don't think we know. Because Harrison's not a brunette. Godric's a blonde. Let me see. Newton's not a brunette. Shiloh's a brunette. And I know there's also some Sims from the Groom family way back in the Yellow Gen. They're also a possibility. Why can't I have you have a, have a grilled cheese? It'll make you happy. You're bathing. All right, kiddo, how about you grab a slice? Because I can't do anything with you until it's a little bit later. It needs to be dark, which I think we're about at that point. So we'll have him walk to a community lot. This is gonna be pretty hit or miss. But I'm hoping, you know what, Clotel, come with me. I'm hoping that we run into our lovely vampire lady. I don't know if we will, but like, ideally. Oh gosh, look at that flashing. Hate that. Let's get off this lot. Let's get out of here. Not into it. We'll also have to remember to spend money for our next title. 
because after this the family will officially be baronets rather than just like landed knights. They're gonna have a title, which that's something. So Clotilde will be Lady Clotilde. I haven't decided like what the baronet of whatever title it will be. Probably just Baronet Devereaux just to keep it keep it clean. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited. Next generation's gonna be ridiculous. They're gonna be so silly. And I'm here for it. I'm I'm fully prepared for the silliness. Okay, so we are at the party spot for teens. I mean it's not I don't think it says only teens. Okay, so we will ban all, but then we will select allow adults. I don't really have young adults, so just, yeah. And let's see what happens. I'm hopeful. Who do we got? Who do we got? Uh, Hedwig is a redhead, but we'll go talk to him. Because there's no harm. Who do we got now? Blythe Rainbird is not who I was hoping for, but we can go say hello to her. Linda, not who I want either. Can I say goodbye and make them go away? What if I delete them? What if I just like really casual? I can't. Oh. Nope. Oh. Albin is our uncle. Not really who we want here. Rose die. No, we want um. I don't really want to ban townies, but yeah, let's ban townies. Let's see what happens. Get away, charlatan. This does not concern you. Who's that? Alvin? Who'd we get? A seal groom? Now that's a brunette. How about you greet him? Because, yeah, Yellow Gen, I created a whole bunch of these Sims to see who would win. And we had some winners, but now they've just been here. And he has a very interesting face. I've used him a couple times in a couple different things and like, would not be mad, would not be mad. Matthew, I'm pretty sure you're a townie. Yeah, go away. I will not be robbed. Demi, you are also a townie, get out. Anagrit is not a townie, but we'll say hello. Or not, Anagrit. Oh, okay, you did. I was hoping. I mean, I can ban all the human Sims. But, like. Actually, yeah, let's. Can I do that? NPCs. Okay, um. Specific Sims. Sim type? What if I ban all? Will that ban us? And then only allow vampires? What will that do? You're banned. Oh, you're banned. Can we ban the unsavvy charlatan? Like, I don't want him here. longer, but I'm just... Oh. 
I'm hoping. Oh, you're banned. We might have to try a few times. I was just hoping if we banned all the other ones, like, she would just show up. And I know it could spawn her, but that's no fun. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go back. I might try off camera with him. Just to see, I wanted her to try to meet people anyways. So like, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see what happens. I could just cheat him into being a vampire. I could, I could. But like, cause he's not, I mean, the challenge isn't him becoming supernatural. It's disinheriting him for doing that because Floor does not like supernaturals. She's against them. Next gen's gonna be, there's gonna be a lot more going on. Cause sometimes like the kids, like they don't, I don't really focus on what they need to do. It's like this generation, really, we didn't have anything for the kids to do until teen or adults. But I guess I can have them like start to disagree. Like maybe she goes in his space and sees all his supernatural stuff and is like, what are you doing? I don't like this stuff. I don't want it here. Hi tree that's perpetually on fire. We're just gonna play ahead till they come home. Alrighty, kids are home. I mean, teenager and, and adults, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna have her eat some bannock. All right, Drake, maybe you should come have some bannock too. Maybe you can go to bed plans for you good sir and that's pretty much the plan was go to bed take care of yourself and go to bed Alrighty. Did you also eat some bannock and then you can go to bed in your room She'll be awake soon. I don't think she has any water buckets, so go get some water buckets and then you can come take a bath. Apparently he decided to just ignore me, which fine, 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 that's, that's fine. All right, I guess we're gonna skip forward again cause like everybody's being boring. Alrighty, Clotilde is awake. She's ready to spend dollars and cents. Yeah, eat the pizza off the floor, please. Thank you, I just don't want it on the floor. To be honest. Drake, are you awake? Oh. Look at you being awake. Eat the bannock. Yes, good. Okay, you can take a bath. Clotilde! Did you have any opinions on the men that you met? I don't think that she did, but... Um, girly, what did I just say? Girly, what did I just say? Thank you. I'm gonna have her call a seal and just like befriend that man. I don't think she knows Shiloh. Such 
child doing? All right, how about you go jump rope? Because you want to. Or not, you know, ignore me. I'm only your creator. How about you go have a grilled cheese? Because that'll make you happy. And actually, why don't you invite Shiloh over? Because let's not kid ourselves. Floor is absolutely a busybody, and she would be like, all right, I need to find my daughter a spouse. It's time. What are you doing? Are you going to the bar? You, you went all the way over here to make your grilled cheese. I cannot even, Adam. Oh, I do want... to just like do that because that is going to help her with earning money and not being unhappy because Clotilde will be unhappy. I don't know why it's being so weird right now. I'm scared it's going to crash. Jumping rope. All right, how about you fill the dog bowl? Since your sister just is taking forever. Scratch that, she just decided not to. Do we have a chessboard? We do. We do have a chessboard. You go play chess. You, madam, could like work a little bit harder on cooking that grilled cheese. I told you to do that forever ago. This is a woman who has found her new purpose in life, and that purpose is grilled cheese. All right, so I am gonna play a little ahead off screen just because Lothair needs to get turned into a vampire and it's daytime and I don't really want this to extend to the next steps. I know that like, I could technically start the next gen, but I really want it to start with Clotilde taking over completely. So I will see you in a bit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this took so much longer than I expected it to. It's actually a full two real life days later. <laughs> but I finally built up the relationship enough that he can be bitten by Juanita, who is our lovely vampiress that he met. I had to make her selectable because it wasn't working the other way. I don't know why, but yeah, this is this is the moment where Luther makes a decision and becomes a vampire. Unless the game just wants to completely ruin the moment for us. Yeah, this took so long. This took longer than anything. Although I did have a chance to check and see it. I am right. Floor technically is the heir with the least amount of episodes. Or second least amount of episodes. Veronique was only 15. Floor is 17. And then Eimerick and Armand were 18. Uh, Henry and Jean-Paul were 21 and Sebastian took the longest at 24 or 25. Okay, game, are you, are you okay? Okay, it calmed down. It just took it a minute to, to have him. To bleh. What happened to your face, buddy? Alrighty, so let's make her unselectable. I don't know why it was making it made me do that like no, I, there was no option to like ask which I swear there was an option but maybe because he's a teen I know he's tall but he is a teen so yeah now let's go ahead and say goodbye to our lovely lady vampire friend and now mom's gonna find out and she's not gonna be happy because she's already not even friends with him. 
but she is going to insult him and annoy him about being a vampire. Because, like, she does not like supernatural sims. So oh, he's like, what if I just go upstairs and avoid her? She's angry. She's like, I can't believe you became a vampire. You were a teenager and you're a vampire? I hate vampires. Like... Yeah, not maybe the wisest choice. I know she looks like she's laughing at him because she's annoying him, but like she's been very clear about what she finds acceptable. So we might have to just sit and insult him for a little bit. Because we need to ruin their relationship enough that they can like get in a fight. I wish I could macro negative, but apparently I can't. Because she needs to disown him, so I figure being enemies is sufficient. Also, how are your moods, buddy? Oh my god, this is probably gonna take a while. I get so spoiled with that macro option. have to sit and select it manually. Why can't I just magically do that thing? Although exciting news, I have since gone to the damn DMV and gotten my updated license a year later. I just, it's, I hate going there. Not because the DMV itself. The DMV itself is set up fairly nice. It's the fact that no one reads anything. They just show up they don't make appointments, they get mad at the employees, they have nothing with them, and there's so many of them that like it clogs it up and so it makes it super busy. So even though I had an appointment, I didn't get in for an hour and a half to even talk to anybody. But my, my little thing took less than 15 minutes once I was done. Oh, come on, game. All right, I'm gonna play this through. I'll play through them fighting on its own and then we will end on him being disowned oh my goodness the crashing is real but we are finally enemies with our son so i'm gonna consider this her disowning him she's like you're a vampire i don't like you you need to get out of my house you're no longer part of this family raw or kind of behavior so i'm gonna do a lot of things off screen, but I just wanted to show you that we did make it. And just to double check, we'll go through. So we needed to throw five roof razors. We did that. Have and maintain two super BFFs. We did that with Drake and Ivy. We needed to become a grilled cheese sim as an elder, unlock our career reward, reach the top of the athletic career. We could not move out of the barracks until we were level five of the athletics career, which is when we became landed. Uh, we had to sell all of our inherited business. Is we've done that. Care for relatives, so we may not move out any unmarried unmarried relatives. We've done that. Uh, disinherit our oldest son for becoming supernatural. We just did that. We have the supernatural skeptic trait, and we trained our own horse. So what's going to happen next is we are going to spend 150,000 simoleons in order to buy our title of baronet the next time that we see the house i'm gonna build a larger lot and i'm going to use the floor plan of what we've kind of got going on but i'm going to expand upon it a little bit just to kind of fix some things that irritate me like i love this little entryway but sims get confused so that's gonna change and I want a bigger lot because next generation things need to happen. So yeah, we might only change a few little things and then change as we progress with Clotilde who is our next heir. She is generation seven, if you could believe it. I, I can't. And she is gonna be something else. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you have enjoyed Floor's time as our heir. If you're looking forward to Clotilde. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. It really does help. And I'll see you in the next one.